Nelson Mandela was born on 18 July 1918 to the royal family of the Thembu tribe in Mbizo, British South Africa. His father's name was Gadla Henry Mfakanyiswa Mandela and his mother's Nozkini Fanny. His original name was Ralalala and he got the name Nelson from a teacher at the age of seven. He was a hard-working student and would go on to become a law major at the University of Fort Hare and the University of Witwatersrand. Afterward, he became a lawyer in Johannesburg, during which he introduced himself to anti-colonial and African nationalist movements. This video present. The life of Nelson Mandela as a social rights activist, politician and philanthropist. First years as an activist. In 1943, Mandela joined the ANC African National Congress Party and co-founded its Youth League in 1944. After the establishment of apartheid a system that promoted white supremacy and suppression of black people, ANC's members, including Mandela, made it their life mission to overthrow this injustice. Mandela rose to the rank of president of the ANC's Transvaal branch, receiving widespread attention for his role in the 1952 defiance campaign and the 1955 Congress of the People. Not surprisingly, he was increasingly unpopular among the white-only authority. In 1956, he was arrested for treason and served five years in prison. After discharge, along with his fellow ANC members and the South African Communist Party SACP, Nelson co-founded the militant group named Mkanto We Siswa, the Spear of the Nation, and led an anti-government sabotage campaign. Unfortunately, he was rearrested in 1962, this time sentenced to life imprisonment for conspiring against the nation. Prison life and rise in influence. Mandela spent the next 27 years in prison, transferred from Robben Island to Polesmoor Prison and Victor Verster Prison. During 18 years staying in Robben Island, he and his comrades were physically and verbally abused by the white guards. Mandela's eyesight was also permanently damaged due to having to work at a lime quarry without glasses. Nonetheless, his influence as a human rights activist grew despite all the terrible conditions he had to endure in Robben Island. Nelson rose to become a prominent figure among ANC prisoners on the island and expanded his sphere of influence beyond that, joining a group representing all Robben Island political prisoners called Yolundi, through which he built connections with two other activist groups, the Pan-Africanist Congress and Yukai Chan Club. Later, he initiated a movement called the University of Robben Island, enabling prisoners to share the expert skills and knowledge, with Nelson himself debated socio-political topics with his comrades. To the white guards that mistreated him, he sought to understand them and convert them to his cause. In 1982, he and some other ANC figures would be transferred to the second confinement, Polesmoor Prison. The reason for this transfer was suspected to be the authorities' fear of Nelson's rising prominence in Robben Island. Ironically, his significance as a freedom fighter didn't diminish because of that, but grew more powerful during his stay there. Conditions at Polesmoor were better than at Robben Island, and Nelson got on well with the site's commanding officer. Utilizing his freedom of reading and correspondence, he read and wrote tirelessly, reaching out to not only the black community, but also people of other races. In the 1980s, South Africa plunged into chaos due to socio-economic breakdowns. Violence burst out across the country, and many international banks withdrew investment from South Africa. Pressured by British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher and bankers, President Botha reluctantly offered to release Nelson from prison if he rejected violence as a political weapon. Showing no compromise, he declined, stating that the ANC would renounce violence if the government did the same. This resulted in him being given solitary confinement, which worsened his tuberculosis condition. In 1988 he was transferred to Victor Verster Prison, and it was there that things changed for the better. He was housed in the relative comfort of a warder's house with a personal cook and used the time to complete his Bachelor of Law degree. While there, he was permitted many visitors and organized secret communications with exiled ANC leader Oliver Tambo. The new president of South Africa, F.R. de Klerk, met him to discuss abolishing apartheid and had him released in 1990. Presidency and later life. In 1991, Nelson became president of the ANC and collaborated with President de Klerk to end apartheid peacefully, promising equal rights for everyone. Their fight for the peace of South Africa earned the pair the Nobel Peace Prize in 1993. His tireless fighting for what's right eventually paid off in the 1994 general election, which granted the right to vote to all races in South Africa. The ANC won and Nelson Mandela became the first black president of the country. 
Now with a new role, Nelson Mandela continued his fight for black people's rights by issuing policies to improve the living standards and facilities of black South Africans, seeking to relieve them from the pain of decades under oppression. He extended his humanitarian policies to making South Africa a country of equality, regardless of race and color. In 1999, Nelson Mandela withdrew from politics. But while he lived a quiet life in his final years, he continued to be an icon of peace and equality worldwide. In the same year that he retired, Nelson founded the Nelson Mandela Foundation, an organization that is dedicated to upholding the principles of equality, freedom, and peace. In South Africa, he is often referred to by his Zosa clan name, Madiba, and described as the father of the nation. His pass away in 2013 saddened the world and left many in tears, but his status as a symbol of equality, peace, and humanitarianism will stay forever. What is your thought on Nelson Mandela? Do you think he is the most inspiring figure of human rights? Tell us in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends.